is a beyond visual range engagement demonstrating the f pole tactic between a SU-33 flanker carrying the semi-active radar homing R-27ER air-to-air missile and the F-14 Tomcat carrying the active radar homing A-54C air-to-air missile. Uh, throughout the engagement we'll be looking at three cameras simultaneously. First is mounted on the pilot's helmet. The second is showing the threat detector and heads down display. And the third is showing the HUD view. We're going to pick up the engagement about 100 kilometers out. The bandit is just about to lock and fire his first AM-54 missile at us. Okay, once on the cockpit, the first thing we're going to hear is the lock tone of the F-14 on us, followed by the launch of the first AM-54. Now, normally we'd already have this guy locked up and beginning our maneuver right now, but for the demonstration, we're a little bit late. Okay, there's the bandit, and we're going to go ahead and roll right. Now, if given the choice, I would always prefer to roll right because you can see that little dot on the HUD. That's the aiming cue, and that signifies the gimbal limits of your radar. The nice thing about rolling to the right is you can see that vertical line with the dots about to hit. If you maintain on the interior of that line, you'll reach your maximum effective f pull uh, without losing a lock. Now, because of the range of the AM-54, this first maneuver is all about just bleeding off energy on that missile while maneuvering ourselves into position for our first shot. And also the likelihood of him firing another missile until he knows his first one is a miss is low. Taking a look out here, not expecting to see much. A lot of people will actually try and visually acquire the missile before they make a maneuver, which is a mistake. And typically, it's too late by that time. Now, what we're doing is waiting for the missile seeker head itself to go active, which will be signified as a new threat. There it goes. And now it's a matter of waiting until the missile is close enough to maneuver in. We'll pitch into the missile towards the target. At that time, we're going to have range on our missile as well, and we'll fire our first shot. Okay, here we go. You can notice how slow that signal is going, and there goes the missile right there. Okay, rolling in. Got an authorization. Fox 1. And roll back out to the same position as before. Watch the gimbal limits. As you can see, by maximizing our f pole it return increases the time to impact and the missile just doesn't have the energy to do any damage by the time it does reach us. This is a good depiction of the first shot by the flanker, the R27ER, and then rolling back into the max gimbal limits of the radar, still maintaining lock. You can see about a 45 degree angle there off the target. Okay, now that we've fired our first missile, we're maneuvering back into about the same position in the f pole, and now we're tethered to that bandit. We need to make sure that we maintain a lock throughout the rest of this engagement. We have a new missile on us. We're picking up some speed uh, as well as pitching down about 30 degrees right now. Don't get too fast because this next bank is going to be a high G. Watch for the missile head itself. There it goes. 50%. Pull up and in. And fire again. Lock one. And roll back out. Watch your gimbal limits. And straighten her back out. Okay. Now typically it's the second missile which will score the kill shot, but I'm thinking since we're not getting a tone, that our first missile scored a hit. Oh yeah, there we go. Fire in the sky. You can see that second maneuver was a lot faster than the first. We generated 8 Gs on that bank. Yeah, it's important to keep your wits about you and not pull too hard on the stick there when you're maneuvering. So you can see the flank approaches the southern missile towards the ground and then pitches back up into it. At that high rate of speed, the missile just doesn't have the maneuverability to correct. Then he follows it up with an R27ER shot of his own and then back out to maximize his f -point. There you can see a successful f pole maneuver against a long-range adversary with a active radar missile uh, versus us. By maintaining a maximum distance from the bandit and still keeping a lock, we were able to defeat him.